Hi, you guys. This is Nayla Latrice. Welcome to the Dope Soul family. I am here to just talk to you guys and share some affirmations uh, that I wrote down for myself and also to share with you all. Okay. So you guys may want to get pen and paper. That way you guys can take notes. I'm a teacher. Um, I like being able to take notes. That way I can get the main takeaways from uh, whatever it is I am hearing. That way I am able to apply it to myself. Okay. So uh, let's begin. This first one is I am the magician. Stand in your power and trust that you have the ability to alchemize and manifest your difficulties into great blessings. Do you really trust and believe that you can receive the desires of your heart? Or does it just sound good to say it to yourself? The choice is always yours. So with that um, affirmation, ask yourself, are you just saying what sounds good? You may be mentioning your affirmations and saying, hey, or saying what you desire. Hey, I want a new car or I want a romantic love. I want this new job. I want more money. One, are you being specific enough within your um, request and what it is that you're asking for? OK, that's the first thing. The second thing, whatever it is you're asking for, do you truly believe and trust in your heart that you, your higher self is going to bring that to you? That spirit is going to uh, bless you with what you have asked for? Or is are you just kind of going through the motions and, you know, it sounds good. It looks good. You know, you could be doing your moon rituals and excuse me you could be journaling and doing everything that you feel that you need to do but is are you are you really trusting and knowing that the things that you are asking for the things that you are praying for are really going to flow to you that could be why you're really not manifesting because you still have some doubt there you still have some fear there you're really not trusting and believing that you can have it you know that you can have it in the way that you see other people with those things you see it manifest for other people you see it and that's why you know you want it you don't have it therefore it's like okay you do want it however do you believe that you your specific soul your spirit your body can actually receive that into your 3d reality okay or are you just you know saying it trust and know that you are the magician trust and know that the divine power is invested in you and that what i said invested they are invested in you and you receiving what you want they are at your beck and call they are there for you you just have to reach out and and ask so if you're having trouble with believing you have to call to your to your archangels or whoever it is that you believe in to be your spirit guides to help you to believe that you truly are the magician. You truly are the one that is alchemizing your own life. You're able to turn those base metals into the gold that you really desire. So the key is truly trusting not only in yourself and your own powers and your own abilities, but also in the source, in the 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 powers of the universe the powers of the divine okay the next one is i am powerful <laughs> i just got done saying this i am powerful and i trust the power vested in me okay so again are you trusting the power that is within you okay or are you just again just thinking that things are going to happen for you because you see them happening for everyone else what type of intentions are you really saying uh, setting for yourself you know are you saying it in your mind but are but not saying it out loud Make sure that you are actually saying your affirmations out loud. That vibration carries a lot of weight. Writing it down, it carries a lot of weight versus just keeping it in your mind. You have to pour and put those intentions out into the universe and know that you are powerful. Stand in your power. Um, some of you guys need to visit the Akashic uh, records for your past life. You guys need past life regressions done because that will help you guys to have a better understanding of who you are and what your previous lives were and that will help you to stand firmer within your power 
The next one says, I am unlimited potential. So again, understanding that not only do you have unlimited potential, but you are unlimited potential. Whatever it is that you want, you ask for it in the spiritual world. You fill up that spiritual bank on that one thing because you're giving it enough energy. And baby, watch it flow down to you into this physical 3D world. But you have to know that whatever it is that you want, it's unlimited. You are abundant. If you look outside right now and you see all the dirt that is on the ground, do you know how much dirt is there? just in your yard and then in your neighbor's yard and then in the neighbor's uh, yard across the street and then in the people behind you, the bank, how, how much dirt is there for them and then all the dirt that is in Timbuktu. There is no shortage of anything. The same goes with the, tr the leaves on the trees and the sand at all the beaches. There is an abundance that has already been here. You just have to tap into it, tap into that unlimited abundance, the unlimited potential that you already are. You are not able to disconnect from it. Um, it does not disconnect from you. You are the one that disconnects from it. So you are the one that has to realign with the abundance that is already Ready here. So the next one is I am divinely guided by love and light beings. So do know that you are being guided at all times by love and light. If you truly believe that now, some of y'all, y'all may be guided by some other type of things that I don't know about. You know what I mean? <laughs> we are love and light over here, you know, um, but do understand that if you are on this channel, that you guys are vibrating at a very high vibration or you guys are looking to grow. You guys are looking to expand yourself and that is because you guys have a true purpose you guys are chosen you guys are called and spirit is guiding you love and light is guiding you you are always love and light okay and do know that 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 energy that force is with you at all times so it's up to you to tap into it and trust that you are being guided when you have decisions that you have to make and you're unsure of which way to go trust that if you call on your ancestors your guides on your spirit team that they are there and that they are of love and light make sure when you guys are reaching out that you are making sure that you say of love and light or of the highest power okay that way that you guys know that you guys aren't uh, reaching out to any other type of uh, energy spirits or entities okay the next one says I am of value and blessed now not because of material and earthly possessions but because of the divine powers within me so a lot of people believe that they are only blessed if they have money or they see other people with a whole lot of money and they believe that they that those people are blessed. Baby, let me tell you, there's so many people that have a lot of money and they are they work for the devil. They are not blessed at all. They may appear blessed. So many people put so much emphasis on material possessions. You can't take none of that with you when you leave this earth. So do understand that the reason that you are of value, the reason that you are powerful, the reason that you have this unlimited, unlimited potential, the reason that you are divide, uh, guided by, divinely, by divine love and light is because you have divine powers that is working in you and through you at all times times again it is up to you to tap into that to know your worth to know your value okay and know that you are blessed and believe trust and know that you are blessed and that you are worthy of God blessing you some of you guys have a receiving problem you're not sure how to actually receive what you are asking for you don't believe that you can have it going back to the first one talking about be, you being the magician you have to believe and trust and know that you are valued and that you are of value and that you are blessed right now just because you are alive just because who you are so if many of you guys are feeling like you guys are failures you guys are feeling like um, things are not working out for you or that you're not worthy you are sadly mistaken you have to get back to the drawing board and know that you are worthy 
I don't care what your mama said, your daddy said, your cousin, your uncle, your best friends. Okay, if you're hanging around people that's not uplifting you, then you don't need to be around those people. If you are hanging around people that are not supporting you, you need to get away from those people because that's not who you need to be around. They're not able to help you. They're not able to lead you in the direction that you want to go. Some of the problems that y'all have, I just saw 1001 on the clock on the timer okay some of the, your problem is y'all don't know how to let people and things go you you want to hold on to people because you are afraid to be alone baby it is you you're gonna have to take this this journey by yourself god wants to get you solo god wants you by yourself so the real work can truly begin so do know that you are of value and that you are blessed right now no matter if you have money or not okay the next one is, like I just said, divine powers are always working through and with me. It can never shut off. Only I can detach or attach with it. Okay? So God never leaves you. God is constant. God is Alpha Omega beginning and end. God has always been here and always will, will be here. And we are of that same energy. Okay? We are born in that likeness. So we have always been here and we will always be here. Okay? So do know that that divine power is always attached to you. All right? It is us as human beings that decide to detach from it and get away from it because we begin to get caught up in these earthly things and we forget who we are as spiritual beings. We are spiritual entities having a physical experience. Do not forget that. I know you hear it all the time, but that's real. You're spiritual. So when we are actually doing the spiritual work and connecting with the moon and we're actually um, talking to our ancestors and things of that, people think that we're kooky and we're crazy and we're witchy. Uh, Yeah, because that's what we're supposed to be doing. Other people who are not awakened to who they really are and they, those that who don't remember who they are, they are the ones who are really attached to things that they should not be attached to or they're putting those things above spirit, above God, okay? And we're the normal ones. There's the ones asleep, okay? So wake up. So just remember that God can never detach from you. You are detaching from God. You are separating yourself from God, but it's up to you to align yourself back into the, the powers that is working in you and through you at all times. You just have to be able to recognize that you're off balance and it's okay. Spirit wants you to come right on back to God. Come right on back to God. God is always there waiting on you. Okay. The next one says, um, I focus on already feeling and being successful through whatever actions are available to me. And then I will be and see success in my 3D life. So if you guys want to be successful within your business, within your career, within your life, within your motherhood, your fatherhood, whatever it is that you want to have success in money, it does not matter. Do understand before you get the manifestation, you have to feel it beforehand. So you have to be joyous. You have to feel as if you already have it. We're getting into how to the how to manifest and 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 um um the details and the processes of that, but you have to feel what you want before. If you want to be, um, if you want to, let's say, go on a trip, you have to be happy and feel like you're already on that trip. You have to, you know, okay, pick out your clothes that you're going to pack. You have to pick out what suitcase you're going to have. Actually plan the trip out. Be and feel like you already have whatever it is that you are desiring. And then you will actually be able to get that. And many of you guys says, well, I don't have this or I don't have that. And that's why I said through whatever actions are available to you. And here I said action. So you have to take action action. If you have absolutely no money and you just stuck in the house and you just there all day, every day, and you don't have a job, you have absolutely nothing. Do you have internet? If you're watching this, then you have internet. So if that's the case, like I said, do what you can and take the necessary action 
and research the trip. Actually plan it, put it in your cart, okay? Do all of that and feel excited about it because you know it's coming, you know you have it, you know you've put in your order to Amazon and you know it's on its way. So you have to really be able to be happy and excited and get in the feeling of what you want. If you want to be a mom and you, you haven't had children yet, then you have to get in the space and the feeling of what you're going to do, prepare for as much as you are able to through your mindset, through your heart, through your speech, through your affirmations, through start jogging, start exercising, start preparing and doing whatever it is that you can so you can feel successful in whatever area you are so you can be successful in whatever area that you desire and then you will actually see that manifest into your life okay the thing is you have to put enough coins in the spiritual bank of whatever you're manifesting so let's say you want to manifest a new car you have to keep manifesting that car and, and, and putting in the intention every day, you have to journal possibly, maybe script, um, say the affirmations out loud, do what you can to, you know, to, to be in the car that you have now. And let's say if you want a Lexus, I don't know, say if you want a Lexus and right now you want a Honda, then every time you get in the Honda, you better drive that Honda like it's a damn Lexus. That is what exactly what it is that you must do, okay? Or if you don't have a car, then begin to visualize yourself. But each step that you take is another coin added into your spiritual bank. And whatever as above, so below. So whatever you're adding into the spiritual world, once it's full, then it will spill over into your physical 3D world. But you guys are not filling up your spiritual bank enough for it to flow down into the physical world for you. Okay. The next one or the last one is I am grateful and appreciative of what I already have, even if it's not much in my eyes or where I want to be. And my gratefulness will bring in my desires. If that is not so powerful. So again, that goes back to what I was just saying before that gratitude, being thankful and grateful for exactly where you are, even if you do not have your manifestations or even if you feel you're not in the most conducive uh, situation, whether it's at work, whether it's at home, whether it's in your relationship, uh, whether it's with your relationships with your children, your romantic, whatever, whoever, whatever your situation is. You have to be grateful for exactly where you are and what you have. Some of you guys need to begin a gratitude journal and writing it down. This is what my journal looks like. My oldest son got this for me. Um, I love it. <laughs> my oldest son is 19, you know, and um, I told him to just go get go get me a dollar notebook. And he came back with this. OK, thank you. Being wise. OK, but you guys need to start a, a gratitude journal every day that you guys wake up, write down 10 things that you guys are very thankful for, that you are grateful for. OK, and don't forget to thank yourself because you are the one that's on this journey. You are the one that's doing the actual work. OK, so not only be grateful to yourself and that will help boost up the, the you believing that you are powerful and that you can have do and be whatever you want is also going to um, show spirit that you are ready to receive your blessings because you're thankful to yourself but you're also thankful to spirit you're thankful and grateful to God for being able to bless you with whatever you are desiring okay gratefulness is one of the biggest keys that is going to bring in your manifestations without gratefulness you can have nothing spirit is not going to bless someone with the quote-unquote bratty attitude okay you have to be very thankful and grateful for where you are right now and be appreciative because remember it's not about the material possessions it's about spirit doing a new thing within you it's about spirit transforming you transforming your heart and allowing you to be in the perfect conditions to receive what it is you want because spirit does not want you to to have your desires and then lose it because you're not prepared in your mind, spirit, soul, heart. 
and your body get grounded exercise okay i'm talking to myself too so we're growing together okay that is what we're doing over here in the dope soul family okay so i'm going to leave this here let me know if um what you guys think about these affirmations how they helped you guys if you guys want more i will continue to do more things like this again i am a life coach a certified life coach i'm a spiritual advisor i'm a reiki healer okay um to tell you guys a little bit more about me, I'm a single mother of four teenagers, uh, uh, four teenage kings, okay? Um, I'm almost done, y'all. I'm almost done, but my babies can be with me forever. I love my babies. Um, <laughs> I love my babies. Um, but um, I have my bachelor's in business and management. I have my master's in leadership, okay? I, like I said, I'm a certified uh, life coach. I went to school out in Tempe, Arizona called Sweetheart. Southwest Institute of Healing Arts. Okay. I also have my Reiki healing. Um, and I just do a whole, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur and so much more, you guys. So I just want to share who I am with you guys and begin um, to expand on the channel and do more than just to roll. OK, so if you guys are interested in life coaching and any um, Reiki healing or anything else, you guys just check the link down below and see everything that I offer. But do know that I am going to be doing a whole lot more videos of self-development, manifesting, healing, uh, talking about chakras and reiki and all of that stuff so we're about to expand and grow up over here because spirit is calling me to do what i am supposed to do as well so i gotta move my feet and do what i'm supposed to be doing too because i want my blessings as well so i am going to leave this here thank you guys so much for tuning in and for your support and i will see you guys in the next video peace